Hi everyone. So it's time for today's connections game. I know you have seen the thumbnail, so you would know what the words of today are. But I'm going to challenge you. I'm going to show you the 16 words. They need to be put in four categories of four words. Pause this video and give it your best shot. Watch till the end of this video. At the end, I will reveal the four groups of four words. Let's today start today's words. The first word is chair. Now chair is an interesting word. Chair, it means it's a verb and it's a noun, right? So of course the noun for chair is, you know, something I'm sitting on. I'm sitting on a chair, right? And, you know, a chair and a table. Or it could be, you know, a chair which is a rocking chair going back and forth and a swivel chair the chair that so that's just chair simple but then chair can be a verb as in in this puzzle today and as a verb chair means to chair something that means to lead something to be the head of something that's to chair and in that being you have words that go with chairman or chairperson who's the chairman of this corporation chairman as in the person who leads it who's chairing this event so chair in that you know means to lead to be the head of something actually the you know one could use the word head so who's heading this organization who's chairing this meeting chair head and it's interesting because the act of sitting or in a chair is sort of connected to presiding over and leading. So that's why in America, we, when, we, you know, when a president is currently the president, we call that president the sitting president. That means the president which is presiding over the country right now. That's the sitting president. So that's the word chair. Then we have direct or direct based on how you pronounce it and again that's an a noun or an a verb an adjective so talk to me directly that means just talk to me you know to me don't talk to indirectly that's direct and indirect to hit something direct shot right like it just hits something directly that's direct or direct again it depends how you want to pronounce it and so direct or direct right and then you know we have also the word direction which means instructions can you give me some directions as in can you give me some instructions can you teach me how to do this thing sorry i didn't get any directions i don't really know what to do right i didn't get any directions so but direct so directly speaking I, you are in direct violation of the order that was given to you. Direct as in like strong and very in your face, right? That's direct. And I'm being direct to you as in I'm not beating around the bushes. I am not just dancing around. I'm actually being direct to you, direct. And in here, in the puzzle here, direct to direct means to lead to head so who's directing this corporation who's directing this meeting and then that's what we have the director right the movie director so who's directing this whole thing who's who's basically imagining what should be the way things get run so that's a director so I could be a DCI, Director of Central Intelligence. So director is, you know, somebody who is high level and leading things and heading things. The next word we have is lead. So to lead. So again, this is interesting because lead and lead and, and then led, all of them are kind of, you know, the same spelling but has different meanings 
So, so lead means, as a noun, means who's the lead, as in who's the director, who's the head of a project, who's the lead, who's leading this whole thing. That's the lead. You should take the lead there. That means that you should, you know, direct the whole conversation. Can I take the lead? As in, can I take over? Can I, you know, make my argument? Who's the lead animator for this movie? Lead as in the, the main, the high person, right? Lead project director, lead whatever, lead machinist. So lead as in the person who leads. And then the verb to lead as in leader, right? To direct, to chair, to head, that is to lead, right? But then we have things like leading on. I think she's leading me on. That means that she's not being truthful to me. She's telling me something, but that's not really the truth. She is kind of mocking me. She's playing with me. She's putting me on. She's leading me on. So that's to lead somebody on. And then you can say lead off, which is kind of like start something. And then, and then you use the expression to be led to. I'm led to believe that this is the wrong book that you got me. Led to believe, as in I kind of figured it out. I am led to believe. So that's the word lead. And then we have the amazing word run, which is so vast. I mean, it's got so many meanings, the word run. Because run, again, can be a verb, can be a noun. And so here in this puzzle, run means leading. I'm running this company. This is my show. I'm running this whole thing. Run. So I am running. But then the same verb run can be running for president. Who's running for president? As in who's, you know, getting and working and campaigning to become the president? Who's running for president? Are you running for this task? So run can mean so many things, in even the verb. You know, and then of course the, you know, running, you know, to, to run, you know, going fast, walking fast, that's also running, right? But then we have run, also we have the word runny, like runny, like runny nose, that when you have, you know, when you're sniffling, you have a runny nose. But then we have the expression, I mean, the word run as a, as a noun. That was a good run. I mean, you didn't win, but that was a good run. That's in you gave it your best. You did the best you could do, and it didn't work, and that's okay. You did it, you gave it a good run, okay? Then, you know, I'm going to go for a run, and that run, of course, it's going with you know, walking fast. And, and you can also say that was a good run for when somebody is running for presidency, you know? And then also movies, movies can be running, and... It's in Iran, right? That the movie is in a theater and it's in Iran. So that's the word run. Now let's talk about the four groups. So first group is credentials for entry. You want to enter a place. And the first word is badge. Now badge is usually, you know, what the cops show you, the policemen show you. That's a badge. You know, badge shows you that you identify you, identifies you or gives your credentials. Uh, but badge here, in terms of credentials for entry, you know, like you have a VIP badge is this thing. But then we have expressions like badge of honor, right? Which means that's a badge of honor. That means that, oh, I am so um, so grateful that I got this badge of honor. It, it really means so much to me that I got this badge, badge of honor, this, this sign of doing well. Then invite, you know, credentials, credentials for entry, invite. I got an invite. I mean, invite is simple. Invite just means, uh, you know, to be invited or to have invites. Pass is another one. Credential for entry. And pass is interesting, you know, in soccer or in basketball or in football. 
you make a pass, you, you pass the ball. But it's also interesting because you can make a pass at somebody, which is kind of sometimes inappropriate. Oh, that man just made a pass at me or came on to me or hid on me, make a pass at somebody. And then, you know, I don't know, you bring in some fried onion for somebody and says, you want to, you know, try some of this. And they're like, I'll take a pass. I pass. I'm going to pass on it. Or another common one is like hard pass. Like, did you want to come help me with moving, you know, this weekend? Hard pass, as in I'm not going to do it. So pass here means I'm giving a pass. I'm giving that a miss. I'm not going to do it. And ticket is another way of entry. And of course, I've talked about ticket in other videos. Ticket, you know, ticket means, you know, piece of paper that you use to get on a plane or it could be for bus ticket or train ticket or ship ticket, whatever. But then also ticket is what the cop can give you that they can ticket you. But then ticket also can be, this is the ticket. This is how you get in. This is your ticket. And that doesn't mean it's a piece of paper. That means that like you've got a qualification. you got a, I don't know, recommendation. you got something. That's your ticket. That's your ticket to get in. Then we have American football positions. You know, connections is an American game. So whatever. So center, center is an interesting word. Center, you know, center, of course, means, you know, center of something, but also to be center, try to be centered, as in try to be calm, try to be inside yourself, try to be not swayed. That's to be centered. And then you have center and the central. The central issue is, which is the main issue, center. Also center could be a noun. This is the center for studying movies, center. So the place, that's center. I'm centering on something. That means I'm focusing on it. Then we have the word end. And end is, you know, of course, to end something and to finish it. But also end means like, you know, in American football is end zone. It's like the, you know, home where you're going to go. And, you know, or we have things like bookend and stuff like that. Then we have the word safety, and, you know, these are football expressions. But safety means, of course, to be secure, uh, security, but also safety. You have a safety pin, those special, you know, pins that are kind of closed off. That's a safety pin. Then you have the word tackle. Now, tackle is an interesting verb. Tackle means to tackle somebody. Like, can you tackle this issue? That means, can you solve it? Can you solve this problem? Tackling it. I think I can tackle this. Let me handle this. I can tackle it. Don't let me tackle you. That is like physical confrontation, tackling. Okay. But so there's tackle. And then we have the word for postpone. Hold is one of them. Hold is, you know, please hold which is, you know, usually that means, you know, when you somebody, I'm on hold, hold, postponement. But hold also means to grab something or to keep it or to, you know, hold it. Hold this for me, will you? Which is keep it, guard it, hold it, holding pattern, holding cell, which is a part of a prison that you're just waiting or holding room where you hold things and hold people. And then, so that's hold. Then we have the word and punt is, you know, is actually an expression in American football is when they kick the ball, but punt on it. That means that, you know, hold it, postpone it. I'm going to punt on that as in, you know, I'm going to wait on that. And stall, stall is the same thing for postpone. And stall means, I think he's stalling me, which, you know, translates to, I think he's stonewalling me stall are you just stalling for time as in like you're not saying anything and trying to weigh things out you're stalling aren't you stall 
but stall also can be that's a now that's a verb but can also be a now that's my stall there so you know where you have selling apples and whatever fruit that's your stall so you know kind of like a boom and then finally table so which is interesting you know table you know you know table as simplest form of chair and table but table has so many meanings like you know table can be a chart and a table where you know you have a table of contents or you can have a table but then you have the verb to table i'm going to table this issue as in i'm not going to handle it right now i'm not going to tackle it right now i'm going to table it can we table this for now as in can we just not work on this and take care of it later okay see you tomorrow